blessed to have so many partners standing up with us in support, such as Professionals Against Lockdowns and Police on Guard. So without um, introducing Terry to speak on behalf of Police on Guard today. From the bottom of my heart, and I know everybody here feels the same way, from across the country and across the world, to the brave medical professionals that have the balls to stand up and tell the truth, we say thank you. You are heroes. You are heroes. I'm Terry Hayter. I'm a retired correctional officer, and I'm very proud to be here to represent Police on Guard for thee. Police on Guard is a group of active duty and retired members that have hired constitutional lawyer Rafa Galati. Right? He's bringing an injunction to the Ontario Superior Court on behalf of us and on behalf of you. We're looking for clarification around these draconian measures that our cops are being told they need to enforce to issue these illegal tickets, to arrest people unconstitutionally. Oh, yeah, and bully. Okay, and I will share with you our, our mission. To honor our oath to uphold the Constitution of Canada and to the best of our abilities, preserve the peace, prevent offenses and discharge other duties as a police officer faithfully, impartially, and according to the law. To continue to serve and protect the public, while remaining independent of political influence. <laughs> to repair and regain public trust, which is being damaged and lost due to the enforcement of emergency measures. To encourage active duty members to join our court action, requesting clarification on the validity of these emergency measures. We believe that these measures are not only in conflict of our charter rules, but also place active duty police officers in an untenable position when directed by politicians and senior management to enforce these emergency measures. We want you to know, you're not alone. We see what you see and we feel what you feel. We'll feel the anger when somebody is arrested for not wearing a mask or protesting peacefully or kid is hauled off the rink for playing hockey in Canada. We all know what's going on. Okay? And there's a lot of police officers that are not happy with it. Just because you don't see something happening in the forefront doesn't mean there is an action happening because there is. We're really excited. We're collaborating with groups around the world. But not... Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll have another operation. Um, okay, it's not only in Canada aren't happy. It is worldwide. There's movement, there's momentum, and we will win. <laughs> to the officers that are here today, we thank you for putting your lives on the line every day. As civilians, yes, say, as civilians, we don't know what it's like to get a call and you don't know what you're walking into. We appreciate what you do, but we urge you to uphold your oath to the Charter of Rights and Freedoms of all Canadians. To remember your oath to serve and protect, to protect us. To protect us not only from the criminals that we see on the streets, but that could be health officials, Yes. Or politicians. Yes. 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 You to serve and protect. So we ask that that is what you do. We remind you the 2019 case law to show very clearly you can't walk into a court of law, get up on the stand, and say, Your Honor, I was just following orders. Right? That wasn't sufficient then. It wasn't sufficient in the Nuremberg trials, and it will not be sufficient in the future. So don't think that if you help the government strip us of our rights, which is your rights as 
well and your families don't think they're not coming after your jobs because they will so we ask that when you strap on that uniform and you go out to police that you police from your heart and from your conscience pull out that moral compass that you have and ask yourself do i want to be part of this tyranny all for a virus that has a 99% recovery rate. Is that what you want to do? Or do you want to be the catalyst that says this tyranny ends and it ends now?